can do nothing. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Is that that's us? Yes, that's us. Yes. It's mine as well. Can put a filter now. Filter. Yeah. So, can you imagine you're here, but I'm looking at you over here like this. It's crazy. <laughs> Imagine how technology has evolved when we were doing the show. Mm, it has changed. I mean, the only thing we had was okay, the internet, like you could access your email. Yeah, but it was, it's much faster now. Was it? It's even faster now. Look but you guys are lucky. Look you can even play stuff from YouTube now. We guys couldn't. Remember? <laughs> That's how we know. Okay, stand by. Okay. Yes, grab yourself a nice cold Coca-Cola Zero. Same taste, no sugar, that is Coke Zero. It's fresh, especially for this long weekend. Grab yourself a nice cold Coke Zero. With me in the studio, this is 91.3 Capital FM. We have Juliana being stripped. Go to Capital FM Uganda on Facebook. We are streaming live. Like the page and see Juliana over there. Me, I have a live in studio. Ah, Juliana. Can you work with me? <laughs> Juliana, uh, <clears throat> before we sort of ended up over there, yeah. I said I want to get into more the personal aspects. And by the way, uh -huh. Isaiah Katuma was listening to the show and he hey. says a big eye. Hey, Isaiah. What's up, bro? <laughs> That's a good friend of mine right there. Man. Very, very, very good, good man. friend. Very talented. In fact, you should do something with him. We have something to get. Personal life. Yeah. Um, you've been through some good times and you've been through a roller coaster that's taken you to some really low times. Um, but of course, when you lost your son, mm. Uganda cried with you. Oh my God. Uganda yeah. hurt with you. Yes. And I want to know where you are right now, Juliana. Are you angry still? Do you hate, um, your, you know, are you in that place where you're still very angry? No. No, I'm not angry anymore. I was angry when it had just happened because I was still coming to terms mm. with what happened. But the fact that I have, I'm surrounded by people who love me and tell me what I need to hear, not what I want to hear, what I need to hear. The fact that I'm a, a Christian, a prayerful person who keeps very close to my God. I, I, I learned to come to terms with it slowly, slowly, because as everybody knows, he was my only child, you know, he was my life, everybody knows that, everyone knew that, one, two seconds I'm talking about Karen, so it was the most, the most difficult thing that could ever happen to me. Do you still cry? Do you I, have what? moments when you break down? Psh, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to make you break down all now, the time, I don't want to cry now, mm. but it's... I also have moments when I remember the good times, which I couldn't do at that time. You know, at that time I couldn't even talk. I, I couldn't talk about the experience of losing my son. I couldn't imagine it. I couldn't replay it in my head. It was I would just keep running from it, you know. But I got to a point where I now celebrate his life. You know, I've got my tough days, of course, when I just really miss him. But I'm able to celebrate his life. I'm able to talk about him. I'm able to sit down with my sister and my mom and, and my brother and remember some of the funny things he would say. Or the, you know, because he was funny, you know. And that is a part of healing. It comes slowly, slowly, one, one day at a time, you know. And speaking of which, people keep saying, when are you having another baby? When are you having another that baby? That was going to be my next question. I mean, can we see um, I think you people pregnant soon? I think oh. the, I think what I need to tell people is it's a process man it's a process and I cannot explain it to you because you'll never understand what it's like but when you've gone through something like that it's it traumatizes you literally that to open yourself up again and try to have another baby is another part of healing on its own and it doesn't happen immediately it doesn't happen immediately like I have I'm scared, you know. So it's it's it will happen, God willing, mm -hmm. you know. But not the way people want it to happen. Not not as fast as they want it to happen. You know, it's uh, obviously when you lose a sibling, yeah. a parent, a child. Yeah. No mother, no father should ever be burying 
a child of theirs. It should be the other way around. True. A child should be bearing True. the parents when they get much older. So True. I understand where you're coming from. I personally yeah. want to see you have children. You want I want to you see to my belly. I want to see your belly big, not from eating, <laughs> but because you're eating for two. Yeah. You know, and I hope True. that day comes very soon. You know, Amen. Like really, really do. Is Amen. there somebody who might make that belly big? There's always been someone. There's somebody. There's always been someone. Yeah. Just because I don't talk about that, you know, slice of my life doesn't mean he's not he's there. He's there. Yeah, he's there, and he's very patient. Really? He's very patient. He's very understanding. He's very loving, and he. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do without him. He's been a big a, yeah. a rock. A rock. And it's a long weekend. Meaning? <laughs> Guy. No, but really, yeah. yeah, I'm thankful. That's very good. Can you tell us how you met this no. mystery man? No details. Wait, let's, did you meet him in Uganda, in Dubai, in mm, the States? Where? Somewhere in this world. Somewhere here. Somewhere in the world. You should somewhere. share it with us. Yes, yeah. when, when the right time comes. We've not seen any pictures on Instagram. Or nah. Any, no? Nah. Okay, what's his first, what's the first letter of his nah, name? No, no, thank you. It's for me and only me. <laughs> <laughs> In the studio with Julia, the Kanyom was getting really deep over here, getting to know how she is getting on with life. Um, yeah. We're going to come back and find out exactly what you have in store for us, Good. what your plans are for the long weekend, of course. Sure. But tell us about this new project or this new song yes. that I'm going to play right now. This new song. I'm excited. This song just came out like literally two, three hours ago. Uh, it's it's on YouTube, guys. If you haven't seen it, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and yep. watch the song. It's called Waka Janja. People have been telling me, Juliana, we want another Luganda song as well. It's here now. I hope I can have some peace. <laughs> you release the video at the same time as the audio? People yes. don't do that. Yes, they do. That's a new thing to do? You don't waste time? They, I, well, they do it more often now. That's what I can say. They mm. do it more often because the fans usually we listen to the fans mm. and when the fans say we want it this way we do it that way yeah. so the fans love videos mm. they want to see the visual mm. they love the music they love the audios but if you give them a visual it's even better and okay. uh, I mean they they, do, they 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 should be given what they deserve and I decided this time around to actually that's what I've been doing the whole year and the title I've been releasing read. video and audio hmm? well, how about the title here why well, Akajanja oh yeah what yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.